Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about finding overlap between different group of variables in SAS. To understand this problem, let us look into the below data step. And in this data step, we have six variables. The first three variables are Jan, Feb, March, and the next variables are April, May, and June. And the first three variables are group one, and second three variables are group two for our purpose and in here our goal is to find at least one value from these three variables are there in these three variables and now let us try to see two lines in here and try to understand it even better so if you look into here the value of fab 9 is there in may and here we say that there is an overlap but whereas in the case of the next line we see that no value in the first group is there in the second group these kind of things are helpful to understand what is happening in a particular quarter and is the same thing is getting repeated in the next quarter or not so this kind of thing is very useful whenever we want to analyze different groups of variables for business purpose now to solve this if we have to use code in a simple way that is by using an if statement then it becomes little complicated and let's try to look into the code which I have written in here so what I am saying in here is if Jan equal to April or if Jan equal to May if Jan equal to June or if Feb equal to April, Feb equal to May, Feb equal to June, then again I am comparing March equal to April, March equal to May, March equal to June. If any of this match, then say that overlap equal to Y. Else I am saying overlap equal to N. So here I have three variables and I'm comparing with three other variables. Say you have 20 variables and you want to compare with 20 different variables. This code becomes too clumsy and very difficult to understand. But let's quickly run this and see our result. And in our result, you can see that we have our six variables. And then if you see, we have overlap for first and second observations but we don't have any overlap in the case of last observation this does serve purpose but as i said to you if you have 50 variables and want to compare with the 50 variables then it becomes very clumsy now whenever we want to solve any problem with the group of variables it is always important to think in the context of sas arrays to define an array we need to use array keyword followed by array name in here the array name is first underscore qtr and we also need to mention how many variables or elements we want to have and here i mentioned that as three as these are character variables we also need to mention a dollar symbol in here followed by the variables we want to be the part of this array and in here they are jan feb and march and now I have also defined another array and it is pretty similar to this one but the name is sec underscore qtr and the variables are April, May and June. Now you know how and where this is going because I want to compare this with this. Now what I have done is I have made them into arrays. Now the comparison becomes very simple. But before going into that, how we are going to use this particular array name and do the comparison I will tell you first in here after array we have a do loop wherein I am saying do i equal to 1 to 3 and in here I am saying if first underscore qtr and then in the brackets I am saying i so when we are in the first iteration the value of i will be 1 and this is first underscore quarter 1 so as I said to you earlier there are three elements in here and the first element is jan so when it becomes first underscore quarter one, it means we are accessing this Jan variable. And what we are saying here is if Jan in SEC quarter. And here the important point to remember is arrays helps us also to use it as is for in operator. So what we are doing here is finding the value of Jan in this array that is finding the value of Jan in April, May and June. And if it finds that we are telling to do two actions, that is why we have then do group here. That is we need to say overlap equal to Y and then also 
we are going to say to leave the loop because all we want is one match from these three variables to these three variables and if we do not find the match here what will happen is we are going to say overlap equal to n then what will happen is this i will become 2 in the next iteration and now we are using first underscore qtr2 means we are accessing the second element that is feb and again this feb is searched in sec underscore quarter once it is there again we are going to do this action or if it is not there this action and again we are going to look into third variable and then that is when this becomes 3 and then we are going to check in this particular array that is in April, May, June. Now here I want to tell few points that is we can access each element with the help of loop. Second one is we are using this particular array in a very specialized way just to check this value in any of this value. And another important point to remember here is leave. Whenever we have a leave statement which means check and then if there is a match then don't do anything more just get out of the loop. It is very efficient in that way also because we don't want to search over and over and over again when the value is already there. And now I also want to discuss with these three observations how this thing is going to work. Now, if you look into first observation, here I have the code do i equal to 1 to 3. So, when if first quarter i, that is jan, in, is in sec underscore quarter, the value of 10 is there in sec underscore quarter, that is in April, May, June. So, we will have overlap equal to y and we are also exiting the loop. Now, as you know, in SAS, everything happens row by row by row or observation by observation. Once this observation is done, this do loop comes into picture for this particular observation. Now, if first quarter i in sec quarter, when i is 1, the value of Jan is checked in April, May, June with the help of this array, but value is not there. So, i becomes 2. As you can see the second element that is feb, the value of feb is there in sec underscore quarter that is 9 is there in this particular values. So again overlap equal to y and then it leaves the loop. But if you look into the last observation, you can clearly see that none of these values of Jan, Feb, March are present in April, May, June. So what will happen is it will loop three times and it will have overlap equal to n value and which makes sense. Now that we have explained all of this code in detail, let's quickly run this code and see our result. And in the result you can see in here that we have overlap of y y for first two observation and n for the last observation as we have expected. Now even though we have simplified our code but it is still cumbersome to write variable names if we have lots of variables. And also we have to count how many variables are there. To make this simple, all we need to do is we need to use some shortcuts and there are plenty of shortcuts. Now what I have done is I have picked the code from here and pasted below. And instead of writing out all the variables Jan, Feb, March, what I have done is Jan dash dash March. What this does is this will pick up all the variables which are between Jan and March. And also instead of writing number of variables what I have done is I have written a star in here and the same for the second array also. And also for this array also I am doing April dash dash June means all the variables between April and June. Now I have also made another change in here that is as we do not know the number of variables what I have done is I have used a dim function 
on this array that is first underscore qtr and what this dim function does is it will tell us how many elements or variables are there here so this will resolve to 3 and if you see pretty much it is the same code what we have discussed earlier but in here we have done something very important the first one is we have not typed out all the variables and we have used a shortcut and also we did not count all the variables but we have generated the number of variables in a dynamic way so these are a couple of shortcuts make our code more crisp now let us quickly run this code and see our result and in the result you can see that again we have y y for first two observations indicating that is there is an overlap and n for the last observation indicating that there is no overlap and that's all for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you